This B760 board from Gigabyte is one of the last few remaining ITX that still runs on DDR4 memory. Join me as I do a quick unboxing as well as an overview of this B760i Aorus Pro. Hello and welcome back again to Junkyard Summit and today we have another B760 board and this time it's from Gigabyte with their B760i Aorus Pro DDR4. And similar to what I do with my motherboard videos, this is not going to be an in-depth review but instead it is going to be a feature overview and with a little bit of my insight. And with that out of the way, let us check what to expect when getting this tiny sized motherboard. So again, this is the Gigabyte B760i Aorus Pro DDR4 and right in front of the box, you could see the local trader warranty sticker which is actually nice to hear. And upon opening the box, we have the actual motherboard. Then just below it, we have all sorts of cables including the Wi-Fi antenna, some RGB cable extension, its exclusive fan connector in that way we can add extra fan headers, some SATA cables for your storage, and finally its user manual. Pretty simple as compared to their other gaming motherboard but I actually don't mind. Moving on to ports and headers, everything is pretty much cramped on the right area of the board. This includes the board's front panel header, a USB 2.0 header followed by a 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C header and another one for the front Type-A's. Then a 12 volt RGB header followed by 4 SATA ports and finally its 24 pin board connector. On the top side, Gigabyte managed to add extra fan connectors using proprietary extensions. Then we also have our CPU fan connector and besides it is the 8 pin CPU power connector. As stated in its model name, this ITX board uses DDR4 memory so it's great for those who are actually on a budget as DDR4 RAMs are actually quite cheap these days. This board also supports from 12th gen to 14th gen Intel processors but do note that you might need a BIOS update to support the latest models. The PCIe slot runs at Gen 4 speeds and is reinforced for extra rigidity. Unfortunately, Gigabyte was only able to pack two slots of 2280 M.2 drive that runs on PCIe 4x4 speeds. The front one has a bigger aluminum heatsink while the one at the back only has a thin sheet of metal aluminum. A third one would be actually nice as typically ITX cases would have limited space especially for those SATA based drives. VRM on this board should be decent at best with its 8 plus 1 plus 1 solution that has a 90 amp power stage that should theoretically be able to handle any CPUs even with its increased power limits. For rear IO, we have 5 USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and 2 USB 2.0 then a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C here. We also have two display units, one is a display port while the other is an HDMI. We have a small switch for Gigabyte's Q flash, then we have Wi-Fi 6 for this board and lastly some audio ports. I also tested this against a DDR5 board from ASUS and we could see that there is a performance difference across multiple tests with around 10-15% difference which is actually significant but for some odd reason Results from Cinebench R23 was the complete opposite and I've tested this a couple of times with unlock power limits to confirm that this is actually true. But beyond that, we could say that there is a sizable trade-off in exchange for cheaper memory kits. Trend in gaming results is also the same but the difference lowers to around 5-10% to which is not bad if you are mainly building one just for gaming. This is not a definitive summary as it could still differ depending on what application or game that you will be running. Right now, the Gigabyte B760i Aorus Pro is priced at around 12,800 Philippine Peso and while not the cheapest in the budget ITX space, this board should still be in your watch list as it offers good amount of features including decent rear I.O., dual Gen 4 M.2 with included heat sinks, and a great layout of internal I.O. connectors. Though personally, this board should have been around 1,000 pesos cheaper to make it more appealing especially to those who are looking to build a budget SFF setup. And I think that is all for today. What are your thoughts on this Gigabyte B760i Aorus Pro? Comment it down below and if you find this video useful, go hit the like button and also do subscribe to my channel for more motherboard videos like this one. Once again, this is Brain of Junkyard Summit. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.